<laughs> Howdy. I can't look you straight in the camera because I'm driving right now. Tell them where we're going, Finn. We're going to collect spring water. Tell them why we're going to collect spring water. We're going to collect spring water because tap water is disgusting. <laughs> now, that's kind of a bold statement, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Or is it? No, it doesn't matter if your tap water is filtered. It is still gross because water holds the con the structure and the consciousness of whatever has been put into it, whatever it has con come in contact with, whatever energies that are around it. So the best way to put that into contact is to think about water in plastic bottles. Can you explain that? What happens to the well, when water is in a plastic bottle, it leaches the plastic because it needs something, because it's an incomplete substance, it needs something to make it complete, so it leaches the plastic into it, the water and structures around it, so you're pretty much drinking plastic water. So it all comes down to kind of molecular type structure. And a lot of spring water holds physics. This is like high end physics. Spring water holds the structure of everything, all the Earth's wisdom and intelligence underground. It's been underground for thousands of years, if not longer, and it has all of that intelligence. And we put that into our body, so we we gain that intelligence, that so consciousness. How many times did you say we've we've been out there? What three or four times now? Yeah. Three or four times we've been out there. Collected. Usually we go with. Um, we have two. I don't even know what size gallons they are of glass. They're we got them from the wine store. Anyways, um, for a while we were talking about getting spring water, and then once we saw David Wolf live, that I think the next week we we went and got them, right? Mm -hmm. And what the, the way he explains spring and the spring water is when the water's coming down wherever it's from let's say it's in a little it's kind of in the mountains um, right underneath where that water is coming down your water is coming back up so it's kind of like a it's like a, the way a fountain works how it kind of cycles levitational it, properties how it cycles itself so one of the emphasis is that the water is actually levitating uphill before it starts to fall back down again. When we collect, we we collect at a place where it comes right from the source at the very top. So it's just it's just coming finish its uphill climb and it's on its way back down. Anyways, go find a spring, get some spring water. You can also go to www.findaspring.com and submit a spring if you know where one is or find a spring in your area if someone has submitted it. It's a project that Daniel Vitalis has put together, so it's really cool. Check it out.